hello everyone and welcome back to the AMS tutorial in this lecture or in this uh, series we will learn that uh, how we can simulate or proscite sources and we have seen that how we can put our ambient condition so after that we have seen that how is uh, the device parameters are uh, the layers so we have uh, saved our device uh, is uh, with the name of first player so if we have uh, these devices <coughs> in this case we have ETL Titania <coughs> sorry we have Poroskite CH3 NH3 PBI3 and we have HTL uh, in this case this is the Spyro and for example if we run it and wait for a few seconds then we have check a little bit about the jv curve of our device then we have looked uh, at the uh, energy levels of our device today we will see that uh, how the charge distribution we have within our device uh, what are the charge carrier uh, densities uh, in our in our device so uh, this uh, if we can see or here this these are the charge distribution which is about the free holes free electrons and trapped holes trapped electrons so today we will look about that and we will uh, say a little bit about these distribution so let's say I have to um, copy the data and then I need to put this in origin and let's say analyze it uh, for example if, uh, if if I paste it over here control V so we have few columns over here in the first column that is uh, define uh, the position of our of our device that was around about 0 0.52 if we remember and the the second column represent the free electrons per unit volume and these are the free holes per unit volume and these are the trapped uh, charges and uh, let's say these are the electron which are trapped <coughs> and these are the holes which are trapped within the device so we will talk about these uh, contribution uh, let's say we draw it Oh, like this uh, for example over here and we have multiple y's so I will say multiple y axis and let's say okay okay this is uh, these are the actually the uh, the layers different layers uh, with respect to y axis the x axis uh, for, for all values are same so I will say this scale should be 0 uh, this is 0 0.52 okay so this is 0 0.015 for example if I say 0 0.05 let's say for the sake of simplicity so that I can realize that where is uh, the ETL where is the proskite there where is the that's why I put uh, the gap very uh, like 0 0.05 in each uh, segment here if we compare uh, our two graphs from the amps and in the uh, origin so they are look like different but they are same why because these are in the numbers leading no numbers or normal numbers and this is the log of the numbers so I can I can make it similar like this so the simple thing is that I will go for the first player uh, to the scale let's say this is zero and apply it now make it log apply okay for each one now I have to go for this one okay for the scale say 0 apply 
make it log of this okay now go for green one okay green this is a zero and okay so apply it and let's say log oh no 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 for this this should be zero so i will go for this one again okay this should be log okay and this one should also be zero and this one should be log apply okay so now for the sake of simplicity i will hide these uh, axes and i will call it uh, carrier distribution or charge distribution along y axis in in any arbitrary unit uh, we can say uh, with the different values so i will just uh, make it more clear okay so so that we can define it very easily and go to the line and tick okay let's say this is 5 and this is let's say n this is in apply now on the top we don't have the line so let's say we put we want to put it and none because we want to define it with arbitrary values so on the left we we have a similar situation none none why we put none because we want it as arbitrary values and we will call this line our y axis uh, as the carrier distribution or carrier density okay now it look like nice and we can compare it again so now it look uh, the similar as uh, with the amps now if we see over here this black uh, square represent the uh, free uh, electrons and these uh, red circle represent or spheres represent the free holes uh, let me okay let me write it okay so that we can analyze it sorry free electrons i will call it electron okay where they are actually these black circles uh, sorry squares okay these are the free electrons these black circle uh, squares okay control c control v these are the free holes okay we will call it holes now these uh, light green are the trapped electrons okay sorry now in these blue color represent the trapped holes and i will also uh, indicate uh, the the position of our etl it is round about over here 0 0.02 uh, micron or micrometer so i will let's say almost over here i think so okay make it bold so that we can see make a dash line so that we can realize 
now this region is actually uh, referred to the ETL if we remember so this is ETL uh, this was the first card if we remember that and we probably we do not that with the active layer here I will say for sky layer uh, okay from here to here almost here which was 0 0.037 something like that in this is this region is actually the HDL okay so this is our whole device now if we look at the distribution of the charges uh, this uh, region is actually or this line shows us the carrier uh, density in any arbitrary units so I will call it a dot u so so this is actually the carrier distribution of our of our device along y axis so if we if we look at the uh, the distribution of the charges so we have free holes and free electrons and this will show us that uh, uh, how good or bad our device is uh, for example if we make good proskite layer which means maybe we have few defects in this layer so we will have more free holes free electrons and we will have less trapped holes and trapped electrons and similarly in this case maybe it is not a good device uh, because the layer have more traps and more uh, trap of the holes and electrons uh, however we can play around these uh, these layers and we can we can see that how our device behave with respect to uh, the defect density within the layers uh, it may be in the bulk it may be at the interface and we can we can play around uh, these uh, uh, defect densities or the interfaces uh, the quality of our layers and we can make uh, it better for the for the sake of the, you know, good performance and maybe we can improve the efficiency maybe we can improve the lifetime of the devices maybe we can reduce the bending energy of the excitons and so on so this was little about the uh, charge distribution or carrier density uh, distribution along uh, y axis in this case and if you have any question let me know in the comments box and please share subscribe and uh, thank you so much for for your time